Good morning, folks. We've got three excellent solar storm studies to hit today. There's the monthly special coming for observer review. We've also got other satellites standing in for SDO the rest of the year until they fix the servers. So let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Virtually nothing in terms of solar flaring or eruptive activity. We do have sunspots and filaments, but they're quiet for the moment. Coronal hole effects are expected next weekend. So let's go ahead and check out our watch regions for today, starting with the sunspots. Definitive signs of decay compared to yesterday. With the sunspots looking like this, it is the filaments that have the higher eruptive potential. Minor complexity and mixing potential only at both active region groups, and it is minimal. The only high likelihood event on the horizon in the short term is the coronal hole situation. Two dark patches emerge and are turning in towards the center to face the Earth. There is a strong chance that the enhanced solar wind from them will impact the Earth this coming weekend. We will be watching. First up in the articles today is this, a look at the April 2023 solar storm and the tripping of a transformer in Sweden. The plasma of the CME found a weak spot and had a burst event penetrating the Earth's magnetic field and causing the extreme geomagnetically induced current. The solar event was mild, but it caused severe geomagnetic conditions, extreme aurora, and things like this. It's an example of Earth's extra vulnerability. Up next, we're coming to the May 2024 solar storm, and this one hits a strange electromagnetic anomaly over Asia. It's just another one of the many bizarre events that unfolded during that solar storm. The event itself and the movement of the anomaly were both unique. Something is indeed changing at our planet. And while the final story today is this, physicists trying to explain why that solar storm was so extreme in May, the reality is that the things they hypothesize and point to are nothing special. The real reason these solar storms are doing so much more than expected is the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Not only do we dive deep on this topic all the time at the Observer Ranch meetings, like the ones coming up this month and the next two, but the groundwork for understanding is laid in the solar energy transfer video coming to Observer Review subscribers later today. The special video is a very good one, and it's all about the various ways the sun sends its energy to Earth. Sign up for our e-magazine at the link below. Head to ObserverRanch.com to plan your trip to come see us. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.